Welcome all the dear students. Today we are going to start 3.4 statement of purpose. In this video, you are going to learn ice breakers. Then what is SOP statement of purpose? Its meaning, its definition, in detail. Then quick tips for writing SOP. What is the format of SOP? Even frequently asked question we are going to learn and steps to write SOP and in the ending the student will get some samples of SOP Myself Sandeep Chaudhary Dear students let's learn the topic in detail statement of purpose First we are going to solve icebreaker which are given on page number 153 Let's start First option businessman that is C option is correct. Convincing, selling, risk taking. Second, artist, imaginative. D option is correct. Third, advocate. E option is correct. Last one, logical reasoning, oratory, speaking skill, critical thinking. Then fourth option, police. Police should be alert. B option is correct. Imaginative, love for physical activities. And last, scientist. A option is correct. Reading, experimenting and researching. Second, what is your career goal now dear student it is completely depend on your interest and ambition and passion you can become doctor engineer ca teacher professor advocate police scientist whatever it is completely depend on your choice so everyone's answer may differ with each other let's solve third icebreaker which of your qualities would help you in achieving your career goal? Now definitely we have decided your goal. Maybe doctor, engineer, architect, social worker, politician, police etc. For pursuing your goal, to achieve your goal you require qualities like perseverance, hard work, sincerity, honesty, determination, devotion, sincerity etc. So definitely if you pursue all these qualities qualities if you inculcate all these qualities among you definitely you will achieve your goal in your life list the obstacles which might hamper in achieving your goal in your life now what are the obstacles which may hamper which may create difficulties in the path of your success first is given there lack of proper guidance second maybe support from family sometime everyone doesn't get the proper support third that is economy monetary money is important to get our admission for that profession and another one that is hard work if you cannot give hard work if you cannot continue your hard work with that particular professional degree you cannot complete that so dear student let's see definition of statement of purpose a statement of purpose that is SOP in the context of applying for graduate school is an essay that once one of the most important aspect of your application because it tells the admission committee who you are why are you applying and why you are a good candidate and what you want to do in the future it is something called an SOP letter dear student let me clear you this trend applies to foreign universities yet in India there is in, in, it is very applicable to very few institute but it is not very common in India SOP statement of purpose when dear student after 12th standard you want to apply for university and if you want to apply for abroad you have to write statement of purpose you have to define yourself you have to describe yourself how you are suitable to take admission in that particular university but in India yet we are not following it but still we are going to learn it in detail application essay personal background objectives for graduate study cover letter or something similar to one of these the statement of purpose that is SOP reflects not only who you are as a candidate but your writing abilities as well in college and graduate school you are going to be doing a ton of writing seriously a ton it was not unusual for me 
to write papers 10 to 20 pages or longer within with that in mind it is really important to show that you are a truly competent writer now sop that is the letter you are going to write that is application to the university seeking admission for a particular course it is an essay dear student it is like an essay which where you are going to describe yourself as a person about your aim, aim ambition it speaks about your journey of life and the qualities which you have nurtured in the process so it is the objective but sop gives an idea about your innate qualities and in a subjective in nature so dear student i hope you understood what is the meaning of sop sop just statement of purpose some quick tips are here your statement of purpose shouldn't have any spelling or grammatical error because just student it is written communication and you should be perfect when you are writing through letter use a strong clear and concise writing your vocabulary your language skill should be prevail through your writing avoid cliche or repetitive language stay away from overly informal language don't use informal language casual language because this is formal way of communication so better stick to it keep a positive and confident tone dear student when you are going to write sop statement of purpose try to follow these tips now what is the general format what is the proper format for writing sop the general format is similar to any other piece of writing academic writing you should use 12 point times new roman font if you are writing on computer if you are typing it better use times new roman format font 1 inch margin on all side 1.5 line spacing and it should consist at least 500 words or 5 to 6 paragraph i think it would be enough in your sop now do i need to put my name on my statement of purpose everyone asked this same the question that do i required to write my own name in general no you don't need to put your name on your sop the reason is that your statement is a part of your larger application which already has your name throughout it so don't repeat your name in your sop it is important to look at the specific requirement for the program you are applying to if the requirement for your program say that you should include your name then only you, you can follow the direction otherwise no need to write or mention your name in the content now next how long is a statement of purpose supposed to be now what should be the length how much content it should include let's see the statement of purpose should really be one page and only one page it should be like a four single page dear student don't write excessive information don't give excess information in your sop you could write up to one and half page if needed if you want to increase one and half page is more than enough but nothing larger than this the reason is that you need to be economical with your writing admission officers read dozens of application a day so you are going to need to able to concisely and clearly state what you want to say writing longer than one and one half page will make you seem you like focus and clarity in your purpose for school so be concise and clear in your thought while writing now see it is information about foreign countries more than 20000 student buy their essays and statement of purpose paper from expert writings every year now what are the steps steps to success writing 
winning statement of purpose what should be the good writing how should be the perfect statement of purpose let's see some points here we we want to provide you some tips on writing statement of purpose sop writing is compulsory part of every people's life and if you are decided to write it then you should take this task seriously when you are going to write sop dear student be serious because you are going to get admission in that institute so be serious while writing sop the first point in inter introduction yourself introducing yourself you should state the reason why you want to apply for this very field of study and impress people with just few words then discuss your recent activities write about your hobbies it is vital to be an active person and to have an interesting life so definitely it will increase your chances on being selected or accepted talk about academic achievements you can search some on internet read analyze and understand them it is crucial that you understand it right if you don't know in that way you you can write it up appropriately in your sop statement of purpose you should look like powerful ambitious confident person for the admission committee so miss out the words like maybe may possible others that may show you are unsure person the student try to avoid those words maybe a way may possible which shows lack of confidence write positively your sop use active voice while in your statement of purpose it is good to write in like that because people don't like negative things so be positive about your self finally make sure you use correct words check your structure and check the text for grammar and spelling mistakes sometime it is better to use thesaurus thesaurus this is the dictionary of synonyms you can refer thesaurus and the take or choose select perfect words if you say something it is better to demonstrate an example of it people don't often believe words if they are just words but examples are often more memorable so better you can cite some example now dear student here the tips which is given in your textbook here tips for writing statement of purpose what kind of tips you want you can follow while writing statement of purpose let's see the main reason why you need a statement purpose is basically to show the admission committee who you are and how you want to enroll for that and enroll for that course mention why you have interest in the subject how you have developed the interest in that specific subject and how the interest has developed over time you need to indicate any other influences in your specific interest who made you push the interest in the subject show how the internship will have an impact on your career path and also where you, you plan to go explain the importance of internship to you so better try to highlight yourself dear student we have already discussed this what is the definition let's see now format of the sop is given there i have just shown you it is taken from your textbook only just the image of your textbook page you can go through now let's revise once again tips for writing an effective statement of purpose let's focus here dear student first put your face on the page don't panic brainstorm get another perspective let it all flow and edit later better you prepare a rough chart a rough preparation is necessary if you want to fare it afterwards keep your writing lively make it clear you have done your homework show your care answer every part of every question make sure 
your essay reflect your work and give yourself time so these are the tips for writing effective statement of purpose in your textbook already two samples are given there sample 1 and sample 2 you can go through it in your textbook i am going to show you another samples which you, it will be very useful for you student because i have taken from online and definitely these are the sample copies which will help you when you are going to apply for foreign countries foreign universities how you are going to compose the statement of purpose so here is the statement of purpose look just go through it and definitely it will help you this is the example of MIT it is from America dear for MBA course you can compose your statement of purpose in this format this is a SOP for MBA course you can go through it line wise line try to remember it and you can compose you can alter you can change as per your requirement see one more sample of SOP here the second sample you can go through it how you are going to narrate yourself you are going to describe yourself dear student take some passage paragraph as I think more than 500 words more than enough one or maximum one and half pages more than sufficient so you can have a glance through this sample and you will get complete idea how you are going to compose SOP now this is SOP for the course of architecture very concisely composed just go through it you will come to know that how you are going to write it This is sample statement of purpose for Australian student visa. We required SOP for many reasons. So one more sample this student here. If you want to enroll for medical school, here is one more sample SOP for medical college. If you want to enroll for MBBS course, you can compose in this format. So we have brainstorming activity dear student. So I hope you understood what is SOP and dear student I hope definitely you are going to compose your SOP when you are going to apply for other universities. Thank you for watching this video.